Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and this here is the Motorola Zoom Honeycomb Android Tablet. Yes, for Verizon. So, um, it's the day after the iPod 2 launch. Now, the iPad 2 was pretty awesome, but this came out first and arguably is, is possibly more high end. But, of course, the question is software, ecosystem, etc. I wanted to uh, unbox this for you guys. I don't have an iPad to show you in size comparison, but I have a bunch of other things to show you. But let's have a look. This is a review unit, so I'm not quite sure that it contains all the things and is presented in the same way as a retail unit would. But hey, let's have a look, shall we? So let me lift this up. Actually, let me show you the box before I do anything. So as you can see, there's a giant zoom tablet in the front here, like full live you know, beautiful graphics. Uh, and then um, there is in the back here, you've got some uh, screenshots of the maps and Angry Birds and the photo viewer for actually the YouTube uh, browser and then some text down here, TVs and movies, internet, apps and gaming. And the front here says, Motorola Zoom with Google powered with Google powered by Android 3 and the Verizon wireless network. And on here on the side you get the uh, roll the air logo. And this is it. Uh, it just says Motorola Zoom, Verizon. So let's just uh, let's just open this up. There we go. Da, 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 boom. Okay, so it looks like there's no screen protector. Potentially, this has probably been turned on before by the PR folks who send it to me. So, here it is. You can see me in the reflection. Woo! And my pink camera. So, uh, let's get a little closer if we can. I don't know if this will focus. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of ports here. It's the first thing I noticed because, you know, I'm a geek. So, there's, um, let's see here. A micro USB, a screw, a micro USB, a micro HDMI, some sort of uh, dock contact, and the power, and another screw. And then here on the front, I'm just going to turn it upside down, there is a front facing camera right here. And there is a Verizon logo. It's upside down because I'm holding this so that you guys can see what's going on. And the Motorola logo. And really, that's it for the front. I mean, it's super basic. There's no buttons, no controls, as you can see. Let's see. Focus. There we go. Um, and then um, on the side here, on the left side, you see there's a volume rocker. And I think somewhere on the other side, perhaps, there's a power button. Maybe not. I'm just looking for it because I played with this at the Google event, but I can't remember where things are. Anyway, let me show you where the headphone jack is because I know where that is. So here's on top the headphone jack, ta-da, and next to it right here is a SIM tray. So it's empty because you're going to say a SIM tray. Well, let me explain this in a second. So here, here's a SIM tray as you can see right there. The hole with some contacts and the tray. Um, well, yeah, because this is LTE upgradable. What this means is that in about 90 days from launch, which is, you know, a few days ago, you can uh, send this in. It'll be away for six days, and for free, they'll upgrade you to LTE. So right now it's running 3G on, on Verizon, so it's uh, CDMA. So let's look at the back. There's a sticker here with some serial numbers I want to show you, but there's a Motorola logo. Now, there's a piece of plastic covering this. I'll remove it in a second. And there is a speaker grill and the back camera, which I think is a five megapixel. Is that what it says there? Yeah, autofocus, dual LED flash, and another speaker. And ah, oh, there's the power button, right? It's on the back. I got confused with the Galaxy Tab 10.1, which I played with at Mobile World Congress. So um, that's the tablet. Let's quickly look at the rest of the box. Um, this is it. So you get some manuals right here and some cables. So let's see. Start with the manuals. It's going to be very boring because it's usual boring manual stuff. Master your device. So probably like some instructions on what to do and how to use Honeycomb. I'm probably going to have to read this because I get really confused with Honeycomb after being a regular phone Android user. Uh, seriously, it's, it's not the most intuitive thing. Um, important consumer information. Very boring. Consumer information about radio frequency interference, blah, blah, blah. Uh, your Motorola Zoom is for GLT upgradable, as I said before. That is true. So you can go to this uh, URL. I'll actually I'll keep it up so you guys can type that in and have a look. 
And then a uh, warranty card, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so in the box you'll find something big here. Uh, it's sealed, so I'm, I'm not gonna open this right now because it makes a lot of noise opening these live. Uh, there is a very small uh, power connector at the end, as you can see from my finger, about two millimeters in diameter. This might break easily if it's charging uh, and you pull on it. So I'm not sure the design choice here. Um, maybe the uh, micro USB would have been smarter. And this is a power adapter. It's kind of a big one here. Gives you an idea of feeling for my hands. Um, these uh, prongs pull out like this. Uh, standard US kind of thing. And then on the other side you have a, looks like a micro USB cable. There, micro USB on one end, standard USB on the other. I'm not sure if you can charge that way, but this is definitely for syncing and data and stuff and put some content on your tablet. That's it, there's, there's nothing else in the box really. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn this guy on. Uh, I, I'm gonna remove this plastic in a second and do a, maybe a comparison with other devices, but here we go. Dual core technology, Motorola. Wow. Okay, let's see what happens, okay? You get to see my shiny little face with a Motorola go in the middle of it for a little bit. And my GorillaPod. So, dual core technology is all it says. Let's see if we hear anything or anything else happens. Da, 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 da. Whoa, honeycomb animation. That's really cool. It's a little chucky though. It just kind of lugged a little bit. There we go. So uh, the time is wrong. I tell you that right now. It is about 10:48, so it's uh, Eastern Standard Time right now for some reason. And there, here's a little lock. Let me just uh, see. It even reacts to my finger now, which is really interesting. Trust me, this is not a capacitive screen. So there. Ooh. So lots of glare because I'm in a bright room, and this is uh, what the screen looks like when you uh, when you power it on. Uh, here are the three uh, menu buttons at the bottom. Well, menu. The the home key, which brings you home. This shows you what apps are running. This goes back. Here's the time. You can uh, click on that, and uh, oh, the glare is really impossible. Um, it tells you the date, what network you're on, your battery life, and uh, these are like little sliders you can bring up. So here you got like airplane mode, on or off, Wi-Fi, uh, lock screen orientation, brightness, notifications, on or off. And um, on the top here, plus, if you click that, you, you can see um, all the widgets. So this is how you edit the screen basically, like the equivalent of uh, of editing here all your app shortcuts, basically uh, customizing your, your home screens. That's how you do it. I suppose that hitting the back key brings you back, yeah. So of course there's multiple front screens. Let's see, focus, there we go. There's multiple front screens, right? Just like uh, Android, this is a standard Android type stuff. Um, again, I've only played with this at trade shows very briefly in very crowded circumstances. So I'm kind of uh, going as, uh, learning as I go here. Uh, showing you what I know. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't know. Here's a Google search bar you can type into. Here's the keyboard. And, uh, and then of course there's a little button, a thing here that allows you to speak if you tap it. See it says um, personalized recognition. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this right now. Um, cancel. And uh, so apps, this is your app tray. If you tap on this, it brings you to your apps. Uh, so it's got all apps and then my apps, my apps. So I, I'm not sure this is like a first power on really since this is a press unit and it's possible they've done something with it. Um, so this is uh, the market. Uh, of course it's complaining that I don't have an account set up. Um, so let me um, remove the plastic in the back and um, actually I think not sure if there's a battery cover on this unit or not. I don't think there is, but uh, let me remove this plastic here and uh, let's, um, let's do some size comparison with other devices. This is turning out to be a lot more work than I expected. Let me try to do this. Um, this plastic is nasty, nasty, nasty cheap plastic. Oh, there we go. So 
I'm trying to remove all this live on the camera so you can see what the zoom looks like on uh, cluttered by crap so please bear with me here I know it's not the most sexy thing to show on television if this is modern day television I think it is isn't YouTube modern day television all right so here we go it's all matte looks much much better there's no more serial numbers let's let's focus on this so you can see so it's like a matte finished surface um, see if we can show you that there you go you can see it really well here are the ports again and a little inset that's like uh, shiny and here's the, the camera and speaker pod for the and the power button and then the uh, the other um, the other speaker and then on top you get the sim slot that I mentioned uh, the uh, headphone jack and nothing on this uh, right side and on the left side you've got the volume button at the top and nothing else so oh look it changed orientation of course Ta-da! so size comparisons okay so let's try I don't have an iPad as I mentioned in the earlier in the video here however is a Galaxy Tab so this is a Galaxy Tab right next to it and um, let's see here there you go so let's see I'm just gonna lean it against it uh, and unlock it so here Galaxy Tab versus Zoom you can see the Galaxy Tab screen is a little brighter right now probably the auto brightness is uh, not set up on the uh, or maybe I have to play with it but it does seem a little dim and it has a lot of gla glare I'm surprised actually so this is uh, okay so now thickness see if we can uh, do two capacitive touch screens touching each other so this is what it looks like so very similar right um, you can see the the tab okay and then the back I'm gonna try to lock this by pushing the power button there we go and the back looks like this so this gives you an idea of the Galaxy Tab Verizon's Galaxy Tab versus Verizon Zoom Motorola Samsung versus Samsung and then if I stand them up like this you can have a feeling for what it looks like and then uh, the inevitable obvious comparison that I have to go before before I'm, I'm done this video is the iPhone 4 yeah so here's the zoom tablet here's the iPhone 4 you get an idea for the size um, and then the thickness let's see here this is gonna be a little harder to show you the iPhone 4 is thinner now here's something you keep in mind while I'm showing you this the iPhone 4 is thicker than the new iPad so by something like two millimeters so imagine how thin the new iPad is compared to the zoom just just for reference right um, and then finally uh, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you the Nexus S because this is this is the cream of the crop of Android right here you've got the Nexus S running a gingerbread on top and the uh, zoom tablet running a, a honeycomb on the bottom and then um, size comparison thickness comparison um, well the zoom wins right I mean the uh, the curved display you can see on the Galaxy S let me just go upside down you can really clear there's a gap there and I mean, uh, the Galaxy S is, in this, uh, sorry, the Nexus S. I keep saying Galaxy S. This is a Nexus S. The Nexus S is obviously uh, not that thick, but it's, you know, a lot thicker than, say, the iPhone is. So, gives you a feel for things. Anyway, um, Nexus S, Zoom tablet, iPhone 4, and then just for comparison and for completion, the Galaxy Tab right here. We've got the whole shebang. So I'm going to leave you on this note and um, we're going to uh, just power this back up so you can have a look at it. Ta da! This is the Motorola Zoom tablet running Honeycomb Android. It's upside down. So maybe yeah, there you go. And it's on Verizon Wireless on 3G and it will soon be. Uh, available for 4G consumption with an upgrade. That's it. Cheers.